So there's Ice Age Earth. Now that's what the Earth would have looked like 15 to 20,000 years ago. What you've got to do is consider that Northwestern Europe, mantle in ice, Northern America, mantle in ice up to a mile and a half thick, reach from the Atlantic to the Pacific, all of Canada was buried under ice. Well, that becomes the question. Would there have been civilization in, say, unglaciated? Certainly wasn't any civilization in the area that the, of the glaciation. When you have a cycle of glaciation coming, it pretty much obliterates everything that was there before. Radiocarbon dating, you know, became a thing in the 1950s. And as we began to, to learn more, we started finding out, well, wait a minute, there were forests growing in Canada 40 to 50,000 years ago. How's that possible? Well, if, if there was, you know, a mile of ice over Canada. What happened is the span of time between these events just kept contracting and contracting. Then, in the 1980s, 1990s, we began to extract high resolution ice cores from Greenland, from Antarctica, yes. from mountain glaciers. The story they told was of climate change that occurred inconceivably fast, where you might have had 10 to 12 degrees centigrade, which is close to like 18 degrees Fahrenheit, literally in less than five years. Now, this is very demonstrable. <laughs> Really? Uh, yeah, I'm not exaggerating. Excuse me, if that happened now, you would have a lot of dead people. We're screwed, yeah. 